G'day guys, how are you? Andrew is cool here with another video. In today's video we're going to talk about how you can display power, so the power of your computer um, using Visual B. So let's get into it. Um, we'll go ahead and hit a new project. I, I said Visual B then, and usually it is Visual Basic, but I don't know whether I just change the name to Visual B. I mean, I, I guess they're using Basic to sort of keep up with it, but if they ever make any massive changes to the language, I think they should change it to Visual B Sharp or something like that. Anyways, let's just call this Power App, I suppose, or Power Program, I don't know. This is for desktop, uh, I'm not really too sure if you get this to work for a universal app or whatnot, but you know, you can definitely try it out. So, let's let the project create. Okay, once that's done, what we want to do is, we're going to go here to the toolbar, and the first thing we're going to put onto our onto our Windows forum is a, a progress bar. So the progress bar is going to be like a, obviously how much power is left in our system. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to get a label. And this label can, well this particular one can obviously show the progress, like how much battery is left. So if you don't want to look at the progress bar you can see like, um, for example, um, charge remaining remaining just like that and I'll make it a bit bigger for those of you that are playing at home right. use a regular let's go 16 cool just like that um, now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same label control V control C and this one is going to be a label that's going to let us know if the power charger is plugged in or not. So, um, how I can do that there is perhaps currently. Okay, just like that. So here's our the start of our program potentially, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and double click on the form to create the form load. And yeah, so the very first thing that I want to do in this is I want to add a timer. Now you can just drag a timer onto your form, but let's get some good practice in here. So I'm just going to say dim timer one as a new timer. Okay, and then the load timer one dot interval equals one timer one dot start. Okay, so it's going to start the timer. And now we have to tell it, like, we're going to have to add the event for the timer. So we just say add handle timer one underscore, oops, timer one dot tick and address of tick. Okay, cool. Now down here, we're going to create a new sub. Once again, you could just drag this across and double click on it, and I'll do this all for you. But I like doing it this way because it's good practice. So I'll just time one. So once the timer has started and it's been activated, um, it's going to automatically happen when it loads anyways. What we want to then do is we're going to declare a few variables. So I'll just write dim power uh, as power status equals system information dot power status. Okay. Now we want to get the percentage of the power status. Um, hey, why isn't that working? Dim the system information dot power status power huh. okay that's better this one is going to go dim and we'll just write percent as a single because we want it to be a single we don't want it to be a decimal or anything so just a, like what it says it represents a single um, this is the one that we want and this is going to equal the power and dot, we can see here that we want it to represent the battery life percent, okay, just like that. And yeah, so the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to say, um, for example, progress one power bar dot value, oops, dot value equals the percent. 
percent so that's the power of the battery but we also want to go times 100 oops my number my isn't working now the reason we do times by 100 is because think of percent it's a single so it's one okay well if we, we need times that by 100 because there's obviously 100 percent would be full okay so just like that done um, now for the next thing that we're going to do uh, is we want to obviously we we want to um, sorry we want to see if the device has been unplugged or not so like the power cables we're trying to say so what we can do here is we can say if power dot power line status equals online then label one dot text equals currently um put this right here currently charging yeah just like that and you know what we could even change the text color so we can like see that label one dot text Oh wait, no, label 2 is going to be it. Sorry, I forgot that I have two labels. Um, for color equals color dot green. Sorry, back to the previous thing with the percent. I forgot that I had another label. So we can just say well, label 1 dot text equals, it's also going to equal the percent times that by 100 because it's 100 um, percent. That'll give us the, like the, percentage of how much charge is remaining okay and so else so if it's online then it's going to be color green current charge if it's anything else so in aka if it's been unplugged we want the label two dot four color equal color oops color dot red and label two dot text equals currently And uh, just right here, not charging, I suppose. Currently not charging, and that should do it. So, uh, because this is a important application, I suppose for those who've got dual monitors, Windows 10, how it doesn't show the time on the left monitor or the right monitor, we can just go top most equals true. That means that uh, it's always going to be on top of the Windows, regardless. It's always going to be shown first and we don't want it to be sizable let's go fix tool no, let's call it information and the location that it will open up in can be the center all right so let's let's start our program and see what exactly happens and there we have it although i've got a mistake here i need to I need to change this percent label, but yeah, it's um 87%. So current uh, charge remaining. Hmm. Okay, so it equals charge remaining, and that and percent. Okay, that should do it. So let's try again. There we have a charge remaining 87% and currently charging. So you could probably write like status or something like that. But now if I unplug my charger, not charging. Plug it back in, charging. If I go down here, I can see that it's got 78% available. And as you can see there, 78%. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please thumb them up and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.